I just took a pregnancy test. I'm not pregnant, I'm just fat. <laughs> Bro, say he passes game to be Just drink a whole bottle of Dasani. Girls, make sure your vibrator and your taser are different colors. Here are some things I can't live without. My vibrator. I just got the notification that my grandmother was dying. Anyway, it cut off. I meant to say my, my Vibrance Hair Growth Serum. After I started taking Allegra, there's been some bald spots on my cooch. No, babe, I didn't mean to say hi, welcome to Arby's when I saw your pussy. I just, I've never seen beefy flops like that before. Babe, where are you going? Please, come back. Hey, yo, watch this. Alexa, tell me a dark joke. Okay. Oh, wow. I get it. She turned off all Why of it. Why don't black people have any- Mel. No. What? Steve? Did you know they had Italian jokes here? You know what this is? No. What is it? Liga? Liga, my balls. You honestly cannot make this stuff up. I'm driving down the road and I see this, like, anti-vaxxer, like, pop-up rally thing. I guess these people don't have jobs. They have, like, absolutely taken over this park by my house. But in the classroom, uh -huh. we're going to be... So, guys, I officially moved into my dorm. LED lights going crazy. Oh, they're kind of bright, though. Devin, are you epileptic? No, I'm gay. It's cool. Oh, can I get a grape? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No shade to those who perished in the freezing abyss of the Atlantic Sea, but I think I would have survived the Titanic by utilizing the power of positive thinking. I would have manifested a lifeboat. Attraction Law 101. Mute, mute. So it's in my link tree. Go to my link tree, link tree, link tree, link tree, link tree, link tree. <laughs> Sometimes people are like, why did you move back to New York? And I was like, I don't know. I just really love the ambiance and like there's such a charm to this. Uh, my accent is a mix of living in the middle of nowhere, Alabama, and faking a British accent for three years on Xbox Live to make friends. I really don't like the fact that you cheated on me again. Please, can we talk about this? I should just kill myself! I'm such an asshole! <laughs> How to pull 101. Hello. Can I get a pina colada? What size is your penis? What size is your penis? Huh? What size is the pina colada? Oh, oh, it's in my bag. As a white person, this filter makes me so sick because it's literally like so racially demiphilic, pedophilic, xenophilic, um, xenophobic, transphobic, um, racially socioeconomic crisis in America, Joe Biden. Get the feet off of me! <laughs> Yeah, thanks Google. This is exactly what I meant when I typed that in. This is what I wanted. Nothing else. Nothing else at all. Keep up the good work. This is possibly the funniest thing I've ever seen on Hinge. I'm not joking. Taylor's most controversial opinion is... <laughs> he shot JFK his head just did that. SpongeBob turned into a clown And no girl ever wants to dance With a fool who went and ripped his pants Good job. Oh, I thought you were gonna fart. No.
What does a priest and a silver medal Olympian have in common? They both came in a little behind. Oh, that is not right. <laughs> Wendy, Wendell, Bartholomew, Orenthal, Rufus, Clyde, Theodos, Pookie, El Dover, James and the Giant Peach, Hezekiah Walker Williams, Senior the Third. Okay, and baby, let me tell you. Happy birthday what? to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paul. Happy birthday to you. Okay, I got a good one. So let's say that your girlfriend and your mom switched brains Freaky Friday style. Like your girlfriend's mind was in your mom's body and your mom's mind was in your girlfriend's body. You have to fuck one of them. Who would it be? My dad. This girl I know got married and I was looking at her Instagram picture and I realized I didn't even know she had a boyfriend. And now I'm like obsessed with it. Like she's so mysterious for that. I wish I could be like that, but I literally don't know how to stop talking. So that could never be me. Okay, okay, okay. Just to recap, just to recap, I am anti-vax. I'm anti-science. I want religion to be taught more in schools. I'm trying to ban abortion, and I don't think women should be in government. That's easy. I'm a conservative Republican Christian. Fuck! I'm a member of the Taliban! Hi, honey. Uh. What? Baby. Uh, what? What uh, <laughs> Thank you. Hi, thanks for stopping at your life. Sorry, how are you doing today? Good. Good to hear. What can we get started for you? Can I get a gay cock? <laughs> yeah, we only have birthdays. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Hey, one birthday cake pop. What else can I get for you? That's it. Alrighty, we'll see you up here for two twenty-five. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so why have you just asked me to stop the Netflix show we were watching? <laughs> It just wasn't as cheery as I thought it was going to be. You thought it was going to be upbeat. And this is, let's be clear, <laughs> Memories of a Murderer. Serial killer Dennis Nielsen narrates his life and horrific crimes via a series of chilling audio tapes recorded from his jail cell. This wasn't as upbeat as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too hungover for it. Things real men have said to us. One time, I went out with a guy, and he said, I had to grow up really fast, because, you know, I left home really young. And I was like, oh, really? Wow. Like, what age are you? And he was like, 24. <laughs> One time, I went out on a date with a guy, and he took me to Subway. And then when we got to the cash, he said he was scared of um, me paying because he couldn't afford to buy a Subway. So he asked if he could hold my debit card. <laughs> <laughs> One time... I was dating this guy and he asked me, if you lost a lot of weight, would your titties go away too? <coughs> Men. This is my top five things to say during In fifth place, we have Jeez Louise. Uh, honestly, this is just a solid go-to expression that gets you focused if you weren't previously. The only reason it's not higher on the list is because at this point it's probably slightly overused. And number four, we have Goodness Gracious. And this one's just a great choice for taking your session from here to hear. My third favorite has to be G. Williger's. Um, I don't think this one needs a huge explanation because it kind of speaks for itself. In second place, we have Jiminy Christmas, and I especially love this one because you can kind of hear the aggression, and we're starting to get into that power dynamics territory. And my all-time favorite thing to say during is holy guacamole. The couple got wheeled in on the stretcher in the ER. She was underneath, and he was on top. And they had, they were covered. 
they, they had a cover on top of them. And I'm looking at this thinking, what the fuck is going on here? He's stuck inside her. He took too much Viagra. No. Yes. I'm not going in there. Nobody wanted to go in there. <laughs> Nobody wanted to go in there to, to, to look at this. And you know what? The, then one of the one of us re attending, the attending went, and one of us, I didn't go, but they took the sheet off, and he was so fucking embarrassed that he stuck inside her. So they had to give inject him with a muscle relaxant. What's a conversation the anime community is not ready for? So it goes under your armpit, like just a few good swipes uh probably right after you get out of the shower uh so a shower is when you get in the shut the fuck up this shit ain't funny if i slap the fucking hey bro hey, hey bro what oh. hey bro 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 hey Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you ain't on Xbox, where the fuck you at? Actually doing something with my life, like following my dreams of rapping. You know? Hey yo, hey yo, look. They'll keep you on the spot, bitch. Aye, aye, yeah. Nigga wanna roast me? What the fuck is that song, man? It was trash, trash, cuz. Hey, man, you say you gon' pull up with the scrap. You looking like a trap. Man, you gon' be paralyzed when I get done with you. Hey. All this food, and not one single canister of peanut butter. So me and her follow each other and about a week and a half ago I commented I got a 35 pound bucket of peanut butter at my college apartment if you want some to which she replied I would like to bathe in it. Now so here's the thing. I wasn't kidding. This is quite literally a 35 pound bucket of reject peanut butter. Now you see it says reject at the top. Uh, this is totally safe to eat barring you're not a weak individual with a nut allergy. They just messed up the recipe so they couldn't sell it. Now, you can have this whole thing to eat, bathe in, whatever. I'm not here to judge because believe me, I can get rid of that whole thing. I still, I have more than enough peanut butter to tide me over the school year. Now, I know a lot of your first reactions to that were probably, what the fuck? And a lot of your second reactions were, how'd you end up with so much? The answer, like all things, I know a guy. If you're a woman who likes men and you're like, oh my god, I'm so single, I'm gonna die alone. It doesn't have to be that way. Super simple, step-by-step -step process, I can get you a man. A quality man? No. But a man. What you do, you walk into any game store, any comic book store, any nerd-aligned shop. Go to the area where there's a bunch of tables and there's always some dudes just sitting around there. There might only be one dude, but he will be sitting there playing a card game. Maybe by himself, yes, he will be playing a card game. What you do, you look at the cards and you go, you know, I've really been wanting to learn how to play Magic the Gathering, but I just can't find anyone to teach me. If there's a lot of guys there, you will get swarmed. Just a warning. Pick the least stinky one. Give him your phone number. Give him here your Discord. If you play your cards right, by the end of the week, he'll be messaging you, I have something to tell you, but I'm a little nervous. There you go.